should you upgrade from the X-T4 to the X-T5? Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I'm going to give you some reasons why you should or should not upgrade from the X-T4 to the X-T5 or is there a better option? The X-T4 is the camera that started this channel, I got it when it came out just like the X-T5. I've been using the X-T5 for months now so I had time to make an opinion about the camera and now I want to help you with your camera upgrade decision. When it comes to build quality there is not a very big difference, some people said the X-T4 has better build quality and the dials on the X-T5 feel hollow. After using the X-T5 for more than 6 months I can say I don't feel it has worse build quality, actually I think it is better. The dials feel great, even if they seem a bit hollow but I think they changed them to reduce the weight of the camera. By no means are they worse, I think maybe better because the ISO dial on my X-T4 after the first 6 months had a small play that my dial on the X-T5 doesn't. Paint. I travel a lot and I put my cameras through different conditions because I consider them tools for my work and the paint at this point on my X-T4 was gone on the shelf corners and I had a lot of scratches on the bottom plate. This didn't happen with the X-T5 so far and I used it more. Yes, the bottom plate has some scratches but not too bad and the corners are just like new. So when it comes to build quality, I think there is no need to worry if you are planning to upgrade. Should you upgrade just because of this? No, but the X-T5 is a bit lighter and smaller. Not by much, but if this is something important to you, consider it. Also, the battery life is better. Well, not the battery life, the battery consumption. Again, not by much, but it is noticeable. I was always okay with the battery life of the X-T4. The EVF on the X-T4 is not very color accurate, you need to tweak it a bit in order to be ok. On the X-T5 it is color accurate straight from the box and it has a bigger and in my opinion better magnification than the X-T4s. Now, one thing that you should take in consideration but also be patient about is the autofocus. Yes, it is better than the one on the X-T4 in photo and video, there is no doubt about it. Why am I saying you should be patient? Because it is not great yet, they still need to improve some things like they did on the X-H2S. The autofocus on the X-H2S is amazing in photo and video, not perfect but amazing. And Fuji said they will bring this update to the X-T5 as well, so if you are thinking of upgrading, just wait until the firmware comes out before you decide and who knows, maybe the price will drop until then. If autofocus is the only thing you wanted as an upgrade, maybe you should consider the upcoming XS20. That camera is going to have the same sensor as the X-T4 but pack the new processor from the X-T5. So it is going to have better autofocus and it is going to be cheaper. Now let's talk about the resolution and the benefits of the new X-T5 sensor over the X-T4s and its minuses. I think all of these depend on you and your needs. The resolution. Is there a big difference? Well, it's complicated. 26 megapixels is more than enough for most people and the difference between 26 megapixels and 40 megapixels is not that big. Here is the complicated part, to see the difference you need very good glass and that glass is expensive. You will notice a difference with other lenses but not that big. For me this difference matters as I used 40 plus megapixel cameras for my work for many years and I was hoping Fujifilm will make this jump. But do you need more resolution? Do you print large? Are your clients very demanding? Things like this should be considered. If you post photos on social media and just your website, then 26 megapixels is more than enough for you. 
and you should again consider the XS20 when it comes out. Also, the files on the XT5 are going to be larger and more demanding on your computer. Not everyone has the latest and greatest. Now let's talk about video. Yes, the specs are better and there is one important thing when it comes to video, but first let's talk about the screen. If you like the screen on the XT4, then again you should consider the upcoming XS20. The biggest upgrade when it comes to video is the 10-bit 422 over the 10-bit 420. This is going to improve color grading and how much your files can be pushed. 6K with a crop is nice to have if you want to crop. 4K HQ again is nice to have if you want super detailed shots, but I rarely use it. And let's not forget about F-Log 2, that can give you some amazing results. And now let's talk about ISO 125. This gives you more flexibility and dynamic range compared to the XT4's ISO 160. When it comes to highlight recovery, it is the same. The benefit comes in better details and less noise in the shadows and this can be very helpful in so many situations. But again, it is not a feature that will help everyone. Another benefit of the new ISO 125 is that when you shoot with the dynamic range option turned on, you will get less noise because now the ISO values are lower for every step. Dynamic range 200 now needs ISO 250 and dynamic range 400 needs ISO 500. So, should you upgrade from the XT4 to the XT5? Well, for most users, I think the XS20 is going to be a better option and cheaper. I think other people should wait a bit until the bigger firmware updates hit to make up their minds. And some should stick to the XT4 if they don't need any of the above because the XT4 is still a great camera in 2023. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and use the links in the description to support the channel. See you soon.